Police officers often face situations that require quick actions and split-second decisions. Local high schoolers were given the chance to see how they would react in those situations. You respond to a call at a local business where shots have been fired. During a standoff or an arrest, police officers have to use their best judgment. Get on the ground. A training simulator showed students from around Allen County the very fine line between knowing when to shoot or hold your fire. And as these scenarios play out, the students or the officers have to decide, would I shoot? Should I shoot at this point? At what point would I do that? He tells me it's important for students to realize this early on. So why is it? No, why is this important to show that that's, a, that's the case? Right. Is this the sort of thing that would scare you out? Is this decision-making process that we ask them to do as, as an officer, is this more than you want to get involved with? Is the, the process of having to make a split-second decision or deal with life and death some of the time, is that more than I want to get involved with? To become, you know, a detective or a sergeant or whatever, you know, I didn't realize how much it took. From SWAT demonstrations to cracking a crime scene, all the students I spoke to say it was a positive experience, giving them hope for their future in law enforcement. I honestly, I love it, and I know for sure that I'm going to go into some type of law enforcement. I'm hoping federally. In Allen County, Andrea Henderson, your news now. The fear of